Jonathan Gavoni here from Draft Express back in Boise, Idaho at the D-League Showcase, sitting here with Latavius Williams of Tulsa, first high school player ever to jump straight to the D-League, uh, foregoing college. How's uh, Boise treating you so far, Latavius? Right now, it's a, it's a good experience. I mean, like, coming here playing in a big showcase in front of a lot of scouts and stuff is real big for the first time, so I'm enjoying it a lot. How do you feel about the way you uh, performed in that first game? You got quite a few minutes in the first half, not as much in the second half. Were you pleased with the way you performed? Well, I, I could have played way better, but I just went out there to, to play defense and, and just to help my team win whatever they need to win. That's what I'm out there to do. Seems like your minutes have gone uh, way up over the past few weeks. Has that been a product of your playing practice? Um, what do you think, uh, what do you attribute that to? Well, just, just playing hard every day in practice and just go out there and hustle and work to get better. You know, minutes are increased. What have you noticed uh, about the, you know, the differences in style of play, uh, you know, making that transition, the big transition from high school basketball to playing against grown men in the D-League? Well, it's, it's, a, it's a big difference. I mean, from playing kids to going up to playing all pros, it's, I mean, it's not the same with high school, but, you know, you just got to go out there and play ball and get better at what you do and just go out there and work hard. What are uh, some of the things that you feel like you've uh, been working on the most, um, things that, we, that we're, maybe we'll see more improvement from you uh, as the season moves on? Well, at first I ain't have, I ain't have a, too much a post game. I'm beginning it and knocking down the outside jump shot. I always had a jump shot, so knocking down the outside jump shot and just trying to improve on all-around game. Do you feel like um, your future position is going to be at the three or at, or at the four uh, down the road? Um, I'm thinking more of a slasher, three and a four, get a smaller guy, post him up, big guy outside. So I'm thinking a slasher. So um, when you first made the decision to uh, not to go to Memphis, it seemed like uh, you were locked to sign either in China or in Europe, according to you know statements that were made. What ended up driving you towards the D League instead? Well, um, I was talking to my agent. He said. He was like he was just trying to find the best situation for me. So going over there to China, I have I ain't really have no peoples over there. My mom, she 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 was all right with it, but she really ain't want that. So it just brought me here. Do you feel like long term this is this is going to pay off for you? Well, yeah, I really think it'll pay off at the end. I thought it worked in the in the next four or five months. I think it'll pay off big time. So let's say the dra the NBA draft were held tomorrow. Where do you think you would end up being picked up based on what you're hearing about your draft stock? Uh, right, right now I don't know. You just got to go to camps and perform. And perform. After that, you have to see then. Have any other high school players contacted you asking you for advice, saying how how is the D League so far? Is this something that I should try? Maybe. Well, some some guys on Facebook, but I don't really know their name like that. But they they've been asking me how everything been going and stuff like that. So I've been telling them it's going pretty good, and they're talking about they might do the same thing. Is this something that, let's say, there were no eligibility issues that you know you could have chosen Memphis or D League? Do you think that D League definitely would have been the route you would have chosen? Yeah, yeah, more definitely. Yeah, to get better, I would. What do you think are um, some of the things that the D League could do to encourage more high school players to, to, to not to go to college and instead take this route? Um, I would say go out and recruit. Recruiting, that's, that's actually, how about uh, Josh Pastner, you think he'd be a good recruiter for the D-League? Yeah, man, he, he he's a nice guy, man, I like him a lot. Me too. I like him a lot, man. I love, I love Josh. Um, there have been some question marks raised in high school about people were saying stuff like, you know, Latavius is not a hard worker, things like that. You've heard all that stuff before, and this, this is going to come up in interviews with NBA teams. How are you going to address that stuff? Well, I don't know. I, I just got to go out and show it, man. Like I said, I be in practice an hour before practice and and after practice working on my game. So I don't, I don't know what they talking about. So I, I'm just gonna keep going, to, you know, going to work and practice and stuff. I'm going hard. The Tulsa people I've talked to throughout the year have all said amazing things about your work ethic, 
your personality. They could not be any happier with, with the stuff that you've given them so far. Do you feel like you're maturing uh, do, as, as the year goes on? Is, has this been a kind of a, uh, a waking up process for you? I'd say yeah, yeah. Um, I'm maturing a lot. I got a, a lot older people around me, so they're telling me, you know, the best thing to do, helping me out with every, every little thing. So I love it, man. I like it. If you had to spend another year in the D League, uh, would, would that be cool with you? Yeah, it'd be cool. I mean, to work on my game and get better is all right with me. Anything, anything to help me. Latavius, I want to thank you so much for your time. You've been you've been great, and uh, best of luck uh, as the season moves on. Okay. All right, thank you. Thanks a lot.